Hi all, I'd like to give a shout out to my good friend Adam Ralph, who is a great chess tournament organiser and he also organises special events like Nigel Short Simultaneouses and stuff like that, which he invited me to. And I know that he's fond of this Collie system. So the Collie system is a very interesting independent type system. You can play as white, not worrying too much about too much theory. So many of you are going to be liking this from that angle. You know, you don't have to be an, an opening book beaver to play this. So this is Leela ID triple one nine five playing against Stockfish eight, teaching us how to play the Collie system, the opening book given Knight of three, knight of six, d4, d5, e3. You might think e3 blocking in the bishop. What's this? Isn't this just passive? Well, black uh, played this as well to keep. It's got some perks to keep solid because sometimes the bishop goes to b7 and tries to lock down e4. c3, c5, bishop d3. And you might think, hang on, the collie system is a bit like the London system without a bishop outside the pawn chain. You could say that b6 is the end of the book in this game. We have now Leela not castling playing knight bd2. Very important, not castling. Now there's a little trap here you should be aware of. Not bishop a6 uh, because bishop takes a6 and then queen a4 check and you've lost a piece. So be aware of that with black if you're going to play like this with black. Bishop b7. So carrying on that idea trying to lock down e4. Now Leela doesn't castle here. Queen e2. Yeah. Queen e2. So we have bishop e7. And now again not casting, just playing e4. Now black, stockfish eight, castled. Put this into stockfish nine. Castling's not in there as one of the top like seven choices. It simply doesn't like castling. So why would that be? So if black didn't castle, there are numerous options. Well, at least two uh, or three, which seem to promise equality here. For example, taking this position uh, should be fine. Note that white has also castled there. Uh, knight c6 should be fine here because black hasn't castled and can prepare bishop a6. Pawns on dark squares, you might want to get rid of that bishop and this should be fine. C takes d4 should also be uh, fine, similar to what we've seen by transposition. That should be fine. But castling, is this dodgy to castle? To commit the king, e5, knight f d7. What could possibly be scary about this position? White's going to castle, right? What would you play here? And I'm sure Leela's been looking at my bullet games. <laughs> what would you play here? Okay. Yep. H4 set up setting up a fishing pole. Bishop takes and knight g5 because the rook. Why waste the rook on h1 by castling? <laughs> the rook's ready to rumble on h1 here. Black plays h6. Let's show some devastation scenery behind the scenes. A6 bang. Bishop takes h7. Knight g5 check. And if we activate this rook with this check, then this is uh, winning for white chat mating pretty soon. Like this, for example, check queen h2, mirroring Nimzovich's overprotection immortal, except there's a king on e5. So it's checkmate here. So that's one variation. And also on king g6, queen d3 check, then there's e takes check, and then h5 threatens queen g6 checkmating here to defend against queen g6. But again, this is the king getting mated. Basically, knight b1 check undeveloping the knight is a checkmate there. So then there's some nice scenery behind the scenes here uh, on this Greek gift. Yeah, this Greek gift. And you might think, okay, so h6 was played. Hold on a sec. Uh, what about f6? f6, you know what? We still play knight g5 to try and activate this rook. So for example here, bang, bishop takes, hg, rook h8 check is, is the absolute best. All runs with check. Check, 
check, G6, sealing the mating net, taking, and then we're just going to make, forget the rook, just check mate. So beautiful stuff. And by the way, here we don't let the king escape anywhere. Check, uh, check. Well, this is going to be mating anyway, for example. So horrific stuff already. Uh, and you might think, hold on a sec, okay. After knight g5, uh, sorry, f6, yeah, knight g5, yeah, that's that's pretty scary. So anyway, h4, we have h6 being played. So not allowing bishop h7 check. Well, it's, it's fairly pointless there uh, because here we don't have to activate the rook we just step back and this should be okay for black here we can maybe snap this off or g6 maybe so yeah so h6 seems like a, a sane move so how can this be justified not castling here what does white play now in this position i mean it it's anti-positional isn't it one should be playing in a positional manner this is this is uh too much entertainment the Russians wouldn't approve, would they? Well, actually, there is a move here. Uh, rook h3, just activating the rook like this. And it's the king's just uh, a sitting target here. And we've got this nice central pawn wedge. Why not? Why not? If you can get away with it, why not? a5, trying to exchange off the light square bishops. Positional. Rook g3, it's met with an attacking move, direct attacking move. Forget about the h pawn. That's irrelevant, surely. Now, actually, black took the h pawn because engines are greedy, and if they take pawns, they can't see the refutation, and they take them. It doesn't matter about long-term opening of lines; they just take them. So, if knight c6, knight f1 threatens bishop takes h6, and here there's a beautiful line: bang, bishop takes anyway, queen d2, and there's really no defense. Really, this is breaking. Uh, black down knight g5 here crushing this is breaking black down this is another beautiful uh, line here and if you're wondering about this line there's also by the way on on rook f8 i have to show you this what can white play here there's a really stunning mating forced mate here by the way i just have to show you this variation Five seconds, what would you play with white? Okay. Queen takes h6 check. I love the attacking positions. Yeah. Doesn't matter about whatever else is going on in the world. If you've got an attacking position, analyze it. Block out all the sounds, block out everything else. It's your responsibility as an attacking player to make sure you find the fantastic resources that exist in attacking positions. Okay. So here, g7 check, check, here is, is mating, it's uh, going to be mating, check, and checkmate, beautiful. So rook g3 anyway, so bishop takes h4, rook h3, bishop e7, knight f1. So the open line, we can now hit h6, we have rook e8. Now, there might be a hint of some defensive resources here with bishop f8 and bishop g7. So white's play here. What do you think Leela played in this position? What was her choice, if I give you five seconds again? Okay, she doesn't actually immediately take on h6. It's possible that there's a bit more resistance here uh, in this line with bishop f8. There might be. Uh, so, in fact, we have the slower knight 1 to h2 to go to g4 to hit h6. C takes. Forget recapturing, just knight g4. Lovely stuff. Recapturing is also strong, though. Um, it's a very, very strong position. Uh, just, just to show, say black does this positional exchange of bishops. Bang. Bang. And it's just crashing through basically. This this sort of attack is crashing through in any case. Even if yeah. It's just gonna be uh 
much better for white the exchange up but uh no Leela goes for it you, every little tempo counts as Tef, as Tesco doesn't say they say every little bit helps so Bishop a6 is played we have now Knight takes h6 check Bishop takes here and there's a big difference Knight takes d4 this unveils the Queen's diagonal here Knight f8 we have Bishop takes h6 Knight g6 and the Queen can glide to h5 with big big threats we have Bishop h4 in kind of desperation mode to try and fend off this attack if Bishop f8 Bishop g5 with the idea Bishop f6 Queen h8 exists so for example here or, or checkmate there <laughs> more simply more simply checkmate there actually uh, <clears throat> If Bishop e7 here then check and then mate there so yeah our Bishop h4 is yeah there's not really much to do here Bishop I think Bishop there's not really much to do so uh, yeah we have Bishop h4 but Leela just builds up now casting Queenside it's gonna have this Tower of Powers one YouTuber described recently let me know your name in the comments Tower of Power you've seen We've seen multiple times, not just form pawns. Actually, there's other elements of leaders play, and one element which is extremely recurring actually is when she trebles the two rooks and the queen. It doesn't have to be Alakine's gun; it could be variations on Alakine's gun. The queen in Alakine's gun is at the base, and the two rooks in front. But here, this tower of power is blasting through that H file. So knight c5, the tower of power is set up. Not the form pawn, the tower of power. Let's call it. Queen c7 hitting e5 leader actually takes time to protect that the problem with losing e5 the queen could bounce back to g7 so if we took on h4 there could be a little bit of a nuisance taking on e5 but even so this is absolutely winning for white big advantage to white but no why not just protect the pawn save that hassle knight e4 now the tower of power blasts through the h file rook takes h4 we have knight g3 hitting the queen. If knight takes h4, rook takes, queen e7, check, and this is just mating. This is absolutely like check mating, as one would expect. So knight g3, we have queen g5 threatening queen f6. Knight e4 stops queen f6. Yeah, because if knight takes h1, then queen f6. And then what is black going to do about queen g7? Just to give up the queen, stave off, checkmate for a moment. Nothing else. So knight e4, queen h5, knight g3. Now queen g4. And black plays knight takes h1. After rook takes h1, there's still big threats in the position, as you might expect. This bishop, which we've seen in many Lula games, can go to f6 to cut the king's escape away. We see rook e c eight uh, also the Queen can also come in with a vengeance Queen g5 potentially is on with Queen f6 as well but uh, King b1 is played here Queen g5 immediately actually runs into Queen e7 to be fair but even this position you know black's not really doing anything and we can just arrange Bishop g5 to f6 so the threat here is rook h8 check makes the Knights pinned and if here then again check Look at that bishop controlling escape squares, check and a mate. So yeah, the big the big idea is bishop g5 to f6. So king b1 anyway is played. Uh, we have now queen c4, and it's here actually because there's no queen e7 now. In fact, queen g5 for queen f6 is even better now. Queen d3. And black just gives up with queen g3. What else? Yeah, it's it's just the king's had it. So queen g3, yep. And uh, queen g5 back for dinner. So queen f6 happening. Black just gives up a rook desperately. And then checkmate. Dave Grosvenor plays these games, well, this game to the death. Queen g7, checkmate. So Stockfish 8 slaughtered from the Collie system 
a favourite of Adam Ralph, fantastic UK chess organiser. If you want to play tournaments in the UK, check him out, look him up, find out what tournaments uh, is being organised. Uh, so uh, the great Hendon Chess Club, check him out. And uh, yeah, tribute to him. I hope he likes this. Uh, comments, questions, like, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.